Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Hannah if you're new here and thank you so much for watching. So today I wanted to kind of do a different video so I'm not sure how much advice will really be in this but I just wanted to talk to you guys and be honest and just that's been my whole goal is just to kind of share what I'm going through as um, as genuinely as I can. So I just wanted to talk about this week and everything that's been going on. So also I'm sitting in my kitchen right now and I just looked outside and it's snowing a little bit again. So <laughs> that's that's wonderful. It's April 11th right today. It's April 11th and it's snowing outside a little bit. So this is definitely a change since last week when we were on the beach and it was warm and sunny, but that's all right. So um yeah. So we got back home last Friday from our trip and I had a nice long letter from Daniel and it was, oh, it was so nice and it was like five pages long and it was, it was like he was actually talking to me and not just a quick little letter which are still important but having that long letter where he was telling me that he missed me and stuff, that meant so much to me and he, he said thank you for writing letters all the time and, and that was like, oh, so this is actually helpful, like what I'm doing is good and he appreciates it and it's helping him and that just felt really good for me to hear. So that was awesome and then like I read his letter and um, he talked about the stuff that he wants to do when he gets back and it just made me miss him a ton and so that made me kind of sad and then, I don't know, I was just having kind of a down week I guess and so I just wanted to talk to you guys about the fact that like I'm hopefully I'm not trying to make this whole going through boot camp thing sound like it's all fun and easy because it's not like it's hard and it's it hurts sometimes and it's not like it's not fun it's it's worth it it's more than worth it but it isn't always easy so pretty much I just wanted to tell you guys that like it's okay to not be okay and you do have to pick yourself back up when you're feeling down but it's okay to feel that way for some time. It's okay to feel that way because this isn't an easy thing to go through. And obviously the person that's in boot camp you recruit is someone that means a lot to you. And you'd rather be with them than be apart, but you know that <laughs> what you're doing right now is where is just it's what you're supposed to be doing. And so it's not always fun and it's definitely not easy. And Obviously, I haven't seen Daniel yet, but I know that it's going to be worth it, and I'm excited to see how the rest of this journey, whatever, how the rest of this plays out, but um, yeah, this week has been a little bit harder, and then I've also just been kind of, we're a month away from, from graduation and from seeing him, which is, sorry, we're a month away from seeing him, which is awesome. But that also is like making me anxious, like anxious in a good way. Like I'm excited, but then I'm like, oh, I just want it to be here already. And it's still a month away, which isn't that long. And that means that we're two thirds of the way through. And the first month and the last, like, it's just a month. Like we can do this. I can do this. We're going to get through it. It's going to be fine. But I don't know. Sometimes just your mind gets the best of you and you start getting anxious. And so... If that happens to you too, you're not alone. <laughs> Braided my hair last night, what do you guys think? But um, yeah. So, I don't know who, like I don't know how everyone else's letters have been, but mine were normally about a page. And so the one that I got last week was really long and Daniel said that hopefully he'll be able to write more long letters like that. So. I don't know if it's just because they're at the phase of training or they have more time or what. Like, it still sounds like he doesn't have a lot of time. But, I mean, I it was it was, it was was an amazing letter. And, yeah, he, he drew me a little picture of where he stands in formation because I wanted to know where he stands so that I can, so that I can find him. And then, um, so something else that I've noticed, um, so like I said before in the last video, the... All the Facebook support pages have been awesome and they're very informative and it's just really encouraging and supportive like everyone in there is is going through pretty much the same thing like a little different but it's the same general thing you know so the support there is just amazing but then some of the stuff like I'm new to this whole 
being a marine girlfriend thing and some of it's just scary like so that's been also <laughs> on my mind is like some fear I guess and that can just be the fear of the unknown and that's just life and you know it's all in God's hands and I know it's all going to be taken care of but it still can be like nerve-wracking and just a little bit frightening so that's just kind of where I'm at this week and I wanted to share with you guys and remind you there are going to be times when you feel like you can't be strong and that's all right and so if you feel like you need to cry you should do it and don't hold it in I I do that I feel like I need to cry and then I don't and whatever so if you if you need to cry go cry if you need to scream go scream just let your emotions out and let yourself feel happy let yourself feel sad feel whatever you need to feel right now and just keep going because you can do it and you're gonna make it through so today we are 29 days away from graduation which which means we are 28 days from family day so i'm very excited about that um i believe today is day 60 which is crazy so yeah, so it's April 11th, so exactly two months ago, Daniel started. Wow, that's crazy. One other thing I wanna share with you guys that I sent Daniel that he liked and your recruit might also like, um, oh, moleskin padding, these things. So I'll show you what they look like. They're just little, little blocks of padding and they're good for blisters and stuff. So I sent him one a few weeks ago and in the letter that I got last week he asked for more so I went to Walmart and bought all four of the things that were on the rack because they were only $1.50 at Walmart and they were $4.50 at CVS so go to Walmart people um but anyway he asked for some more of these and so I just put them in the envelope so that the white is facing the back and it, it makes the envelope a little heavier but since they're um a rectangle it's kind of like paper shaped, if that makes sense. So it's not, I don't think it causes a lot of suspicion and it's helpful and useful, which is good. Anywho, why did I just say that? Anyway, <laughs> if you're having kind of a hard week or a bad day or whatever, and you need someone to talk to, I am here for you. My email will be down in the description below. So feel free to email me if you have any questions or just need to talk to someone. Yeah, I know that it, it makes, a big difference if you have friends and someone to talk to through this whole thing so if you need someone I'm here for you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to keep following along and if you are going through boot camp right now too you got this girl and you're gonna kill it just keep taking it one day at a time and just remember every day is another day closer which may sound cheesy but it helps and so you're getting there hope you all have a wonderful day thank you for watching bye